alphabets. Today we're learning the alphabets. We're learning all the letters of the alphabets. Today's book is A through Z. Of what is? Are you ready, Big Grum? Have our teddy bears today and our teddy bears have a special letter on them. Agatha's has an A and Imogen's has an I because that's what their name starts with. What letter of the alphabet does your name start with? I can't hear you. Shout out really loud. Really loud. Oh I like that letter. So here you go, because today's yes, book is special bookworms. Today's book is called A through Z of What If, and it's by Rebecca Porter. What is that book? This is a book all about the alphabet. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Are you ready, bookworms? of What If, written by Rebecca Porter. Ah! What if Abigail the alligator was an astronaut acting as an acrobat, almost needed an ambulance because she added too many apricots and apples to her act and accidentally scared an alley cat. B. What if a bashful, beautiful, brilliant bear that was bright blue bounced and balanced on a ball, bursting big bubbles from which he blew. K. What if a colourful crying cow collected countless cookies in her cap for her clever, cranky clown cat that could clap? Imagine that! Duh! What if Daisy, a detective dinosaur, wore a dreamy dotted dress? danced in the dark. A day in December discovered a diamond deep in the desert down a dangerous deserted park. Eh. What if Emily, the excited elephant, enjoyed her exercise with an elegant elf, entered an empty elevator and at the edge found 11 emerald eggs on the shelf. F. What if a feathery fearless flamingo played free football with a funny flying frog? Found four fast friendly fairies that were fans and wanted to play along. G. What if a gorgeous gorilla growing grapes in her garden, chewing green gum, grabbed her green glowing guitar, green gloves, green guitar pick and began to strum? Ha. Huh. What if Henry the hairy, happy hippopotamus with hiccups had hundreds of hobbies? His hoverboards, hiking, handball, hula hooping, hopscotch and hockey. I. What if an impatient ill iguana inspected an important inchworm's igloo? She imagined imitating the itchy, icky insects, but instead let out an itty, bitty, J. What if a jogging jaguar jamming to jazz music wore a jacket in July that read June's joyful jokes hello just jumped into his jolly jet bringing his journal juice box and junk food like jiggly jello. K. What if the king was a kangaroo who kidnapped the kitchen's key? The kind but Kung Fu kittens, Kiny Kit Kiwis and Ketchup using Oni Karate. L. What if a loud, lazy, laughing llama living in a large lime laboratory left his latte, lollipop, lunch and lucky lamp 
in the lower level locked library. Mm. What if a mean muscular monkey that had a mysteriously manly moustache? Monday and May made muffins mix magic with music, made a mistake, and created magical musical muffins in a flash. No. Nah. What if a nice noble newt became the 900th and 99th next new ninja? Never nervous, no noise. On November 9th, his name became Norman Nelson, new newt, noble, night ninja. Oh! What if Officer Oliver, the optimistic octopus, often offered objects on October 31st. Obviously, octagon pumpkins and odd-sided obtuse triangles on top of an obstacle course opportunity ending on November 1st. Pa! What if a pink and purple penguin named Princess Penelope played a piano to win a prize? A pretty pink pet pig a pizza party, or a picture-perfect piece of pumpkin pie. Qua. What if the Queen was a quail on a quick quest, quizzing qualified quackers? The quantity of questions were quite queasy, quickly quieting quadruple quack quackers. R. What if a real rhyming, rambling rabbit on a ranch, rocking a red ribbon bow, racing a rat on the road, running through the rain, and reaching a random, ravishing rainbow. S. What if a slow, stylish sloth wearing a silky, silver star sombrero sang sad songs stranded somewhere under the starry sky while sitting in the soft snow. Ta. What if a teal, toothless, talented talking turtle taught tennis with a tomato? Twisting his tall tail, tap dancing with his tiny toes, tipping his teacup, all on his TV show tomorrow. Ah, what if an undercover umbrella bird under sea stumbled upon an unopened treasure box until his unhappy uncle Umber unlocked the box? What floated up, unfortunately, were underwater ugly socks. V. What if a violet vampire bat's valentine vanished in a very vicious volcano? Along with his vanilla van, valuable violin, vegetables, vacuum, vertical vase, which you can view all on video. Wuh. What if a worried white whale with wings wearing a watch wanted to warn a whiny wasp? Wiggle! And walk, you whistling, whiny wasp. The ice in winter wonderland is getting warm. Just watch. Kss. What if a Xantus played a xylophone during Xmas? He was extra large, like a Chiaosaurus. Eating extremely zigwa and his face shaped like a Zephyrus. Yeah. What if a yellow yodeling yak yelled Yahoo! Yesterday in the yard during Yoda. Yes, her yucky yakking and yowling sounded like a younger yelping Yoda. Z. What if a zealous zebra zigzagged through the zoo on a zip line, zimmering down with zebra zing? Zoom! Well, this was a really good book. 
all about the alphabet and we're learning the alphabet at the moment aren't we oh. so it's really really oh. handy and it teaches us all of the letters but crumbs do you know your alphabets do you know a b c d e f g h o j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z did you know all of them Thank you. 